Well, good morning and welcome to Teal House Farm. We are okay, finishing up. Okay, I'll help you. They're finishing up morning chores. The little girls do the dishes. Little Minner is on second breakfast and the big girls already finished their chore, which was to clear the table and pick up the living room. And then this goodness here, leftovers are for the chickens. So we'll go bring those outside to them. Be right back. Good morning, chickens. There you go. All right, we're gonna get the day started. Take you along for the ride today. Today we are actually on the farm all day. That's something that's happening more and more now that Annie's therapy is slowing down and it's great. We're getting so much done. So we're gonna get some projects done. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna do some school. Just come join us for the day. Everyone finishes up their chores and I go ahead and get dinner started. I prefer to get all the cooking done in the morning if I can. So tonight's a beef roast in the crock pot, pretty simple. And it'll give us enough for leftovers the next day or maybe the next two days. So go ahead and let's get that started. And then I don't have to worry about most of dinner later. Ivy gets started on her piano lessons and I go ahead and take out a bin of toys for the day. We keep toys put away so that it's new and exciting every morning and every morning I take out a big bin for the little kids to do while the big kids do school. Today they're going to play with all of their baby dolls and baby doll sets and that should keep them busy long enough to get things um, like math and science out of the way where the big girls need mom's one-on-one -on -one attention. Everybody gets a chance to play but it starts with the littlest ones first and uh, then we kind of have the other kids join them. JJ gets her school done first with Annie. They do about 45 minutes of school, book school and games school. And then the big girls get mommy while they work on their math and science, um, geography and history, things like that. Um, sometimes we need a little extra motivation to get our work done, but Micah gets down to it and gets her writing done and does a very good job with her handwriting today. And while the big girls finish up school they don't need help with, I can go ahead and finish up my morning chores. And then it's pack everything up and put it away because we need to get ready for lunch. Okay, so it's 11. We wrapped up um, the school for the morning. Um, book work school is done for Ivy today. She'll have some other things that she does that aren't sitting at the table school and then Micah still has a little bit more book work school to do because she's a little older there's a couple extra things um, but Annie is also done with her stuff too so um, today for lunch I pulled this out of the pantry it's one of my favorites it's our jalapeno smoky bacon home canned three bean chili thing it's delicious and I made it uh, last year I made a whole bunch of it and I'm going to make more this week because this is my last jar so if you want to know how to make this come back really soon Hopefully the video will be up Saturday. If not, it'll be next week if I just can't get around to it. But this is just like the best soup. I love it. It's just a little bit spicy and it's so filling. It's great on a chilly day like today. Okay, and one of the reasons you always keep a well-stocked pantry and freezer is so you can make good lunch really fast. And I have some cornbread out here that I froze. So Sam and I will have that with the soup and get good hearty healthy lunch on the table and don't spend all day cooking. Do it in advance, freeze it and you have it for later or can it and you have it for later. Project. My favorite time of the year. Yeah, everybody's favorite time of the year. The ladybug invasion. The fall ladybug invasion. So we're gonna take care of that today. It's a it's a constant battle until we get a bad enough frost they all die. And then we're gonna just do some fixing up in the hallway. Got some new outlet covers and we're gonna wash walls and clean the stairs. It's gonna look great. But first we're gonna get rid of these ladybugs. Hey Minner. 
They smell terrible too. They smell like nasty peanut butter. They're not really ladybugs. If you're gonna correct me in the comments, I already know that. They're the false ladybugs. I think they're a type of Japanese beetle, but they smell terrible. And it's a every year a constant invasion, so. some green beans and then I got down this kind of rabbit hole of breads the other day and I found out that there's like this thing where people actually like make breads with basically flour and plain yogurt and I, I didn't realize that was a thing and several people that I know after I posted that recipe um, on my page they were like Oh yeah, we do that all the time. It makes great, you know, garlic bread or bagels or whatever. And so I'm going to test it out. We're going to try making garlic knots with um, a yogurt dough. So we'll see how that goes. But I thought that was interesting. Try something new. It's always nice when you need bread in a jiffy. I mean, I make my pan skillet bread pretty quickly, but um, not having to mess with yeast. Saves you a lot of time. We'll see how it comes out. going to save these potato skins for veggie broth that I'm going to make later this week. My mom actually sent me a recipe for frying potato skins. I think I'll try that sometime this week too. It looked really good. Um, but I need to make more broth so we've been saving all my veggie scraps. I already got a full bag in the freezer. We'll start a second one. We'll be ready to make some broth later this week. You should never, ever, 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 ever have to spend money on broth. If you are eating vegetables at home, going to the store and buying broth, it's just spending money that you just threw away if you threw away your vegetable scraps. So it's one of those things when you're looking at how to cut your budget down, a lot of it, you can save a lot of money if you know how to use all parts of the food that you're eating and not just the best parts that people are most familiar with. You can use so much stuff to make so much and then you don't need to buy as much at the store. You save a lot of money. All right, let's see about those garlic knots. I'll share that recipe with you and we'll try it together and see if it works. All right, I'm gonna use one cup of my homemade Greek style yogurt that we make in the oven. It's super thick, just like the Greek yogurt in the store. And let's give that a little mixy mix. It's pretty sticky. We might add a little more flour here. It says it should make nine, eight. So we'll do half, half, hands here. Okay, we roll them into worms. Then we make a nut. This is, do not judge me on my Beautifulness ability is not my strong point. Aren't you supposed to be outside playing? Yeah, but I, but I, was hitting really hard. I couldn't. Maggie, play in here. All right, here you go. Are you ready, Goobs? I don't have oil. Go ahead, keep going. Get all of them. That's a tiny garlic. All right, into the oven. About Poor little Mitter has been watching him play baseball. You want to go outside? You want to go play? No, she don't. I think he does. Do you want to go play? Yes. Let's go Can play.
You go to fish. Hey, Knitter approves of our garlic bread. Is it good? Yeah, I, love I love my green beans. Especially when they don't have those. Oh, that, All right, Goobs and I made garlic bread, but it's got yogurt in it. What? What? So you have to try it and see if you like it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm doing it. smells weird, but I don't really care. Mom, ready? Why does it have yogurt in it? Mm, that's good. It's good. It's good. Think, Ivy? It, I like this good. top in the best. I just want to lick it all day. What? <laughs> green beans are good. Ending the day how we started. Some scraps for the chickens. <laughs> Big girls get dinner dishes. Cool. Little girls do clear the table and pick up the living room. Are you done? All right, we're gonna finish our chores. See you next time. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for joining us today. Bye. Bye. You say bye.